Hello everyone and welcome to At A Glance. This is your host, The Pixel Pirate, delivering previews of the latest and greatest games from the Gamosphere. Today we are looking at a game called Habitat. Habitat is a strategic space survival game and is developed by Agency. So let's see what the game is all about. Okay, so here we are. We start off with our rocket here. I won't actually click on it because it turns on the thrusters automatically, so that's bad. Do keep in mind that this game is in early access. There is going to be a huge amount of features added to the game uh, compared to what it is now. What it is now is currently you can create a space station or several space stations if you so desire. And you can also uh, sort of fight enemies, so uh, nanobots come and attack you. That is currently about it, but there will be more There will be more enemies and there will be more uh, items and stuff like that. There are currently about 40 items in the game that you can uh, create with, but uh, do keep in mind it is early access. Okay, so uh, what I can do basically is you can see all this debris everywhere. Uh, looking at go, and, go around and have a look here. Uh, all this stuff, we can actually use all these things to create. Uh, what we desire. So for example, here's a big rocket rocket uh, booster and we can uh, get places much quicker than all that. That's a little thruster there. So we're gonna get uh, the, of course, the T-Rex head. The T-Rex head is going to be the thing that we are going to start with naturally. T-Rex head uh, actually has a thruster in it as well. Uh, excuse me, as well. So uh, yeah, you can do that. Now, as you can see, when it's red, you can't put it on your ship. When it's green, you can. However, you need to be careful because just because it's green doesn't mean a whole lot if you don't think about how, I guess, physics works. So let's put that on and hopefully it works out for us. Uh, now what I mean by that is if you start putting things on like in odd at odd angles or, or on places where you think it'll probably fall off pretty quickly once you turn the thrusters on, it's probably going to fall off pretty quickly and explode in your face. Now, as you can see, we've got two little uh, dudes here, two little engineers that we can actually use to get all our stuff and put it on the ship, as well as do repairs and things like that. All right, so we have got our T-Rex head. We can turn him off, on rather, and uh, he uses, uh, you know, uh, he, he shoots fire, basically. Um, okay, so what we want to do is we want to get this thruster over here. So we'll attach one of our engineers to said thruster, and then we'll uh, attach it to our ship. Now, we have to think about this. This is probably the best place, I'd say. Somewhere here. Let's see what we can do. Yeah. Um, I think if I, like, attach it to... Let's see. Let's see what happens if we... Actually, let's attach it to this side. Yeah. Um, no. Okay, there we go. That's the stuff. All right. Now you notice we've only got one thruster. Actually, no, we have two. There's one over here. So let's get that one. Now your engineers can die. You do need to keep that in mind. They can die. So uh, you've got to uh, be careful, you know, what you're doing with them and where they are at any given time. Because uh, if they're behind a thruster, for example, they're going to have a bad day. All right. But you can take your guys and reattach them to the main ship here. Now, I am re using resources every time I do things. So, for example, when I turn the shuttle on, it's going to turn the thrusters on. And uh, that'll use re resources. And uh, I can generate resources, which I am doing right now. However, uh, once I start turning uh, things on, uh, it'll start using stuff. So, let's uh, let's attach our little dude to that. And we'll, uh, we'll see if <laughs> we can survive here and hopefully we can okay so you steer you can steer the ship and with like things like thrusters oh god we're gonna smash straight into that aren't we oh boy oh boy now it being space you would imagine that's oh no no we're okay um you can imagine even if you turn the thrusters off you're still gonna move around oh boy we're gonna go straight for that station there Let's see if we can't use our thrusters even if the, the the main thrusters are off, you can use the the other thrusters. And as you can see, it's using resources every time, you know, every couple of seconds. Oh boy, please don't smash into that. 
Oh, okay. Okay, we were slow enough to uh, not have done any damage, so that's good. This is good. Alright, so let's move away from that, otherwise when we take off, it's going to cause a lot of problems. And we've uh, got, managed to get rid of the other thing as well, so that's good. Oh, yeah, just there. Alright, so let's uh, let's get our dudes to... Where are we? Did we bounce off and we're moving the other way? Okay, we're slowing down here. Let's get our guys to put that over there. And then we can actually move. There's all sorts of stuff, all sorts of crazy stuff. Like, that's a Ferris wheel over there. You can actually attach that to your ship if you so desire. Yes, it's pretty crazy. Uh, there's also tanks and things that have weapons, of course, uh, that you can attach. Okay, let's get our dude and... Oh, and we will uh, attach him back to our ship. Alright, so our two dudes are doing pretty well. We've got 300 health there, so that is good. Very good. Alright, let's turn the thrusters back on. And we will get moving here. Alright, so I'm hoping to get over to these tanks here so that we can actually uh, start getting some weaponry. Oh dear, don't hit that. No, okay, that wasn't so bad. Yeah, it did It did do damage. It does do damage when you hit things. But, uh, you know, it's better to do damage than actually explode things off your, uh, your ship. Yes. So uh, you can zoom in and zoom out as well. And uh, I guess enemies periodically attack you. Uh, we haven't got enemy enemies, enemies as yet. But uh, you can see we, where we are in the world and stuff like that. So that's it. we've got uh, warning there, it seems. And uh, yeah, there's also stuff sticking out from uh, the Earth. That's pretty cool. So that is uh, about the long and short, or a very quick uh, preview of Habitat. If you uh, liked what you saw, or you have any comments about the game, or you would like to share your experiences with the game, feel free to leave a comment below. And if you'd like to know more about the game, head on over to the Gamepedia wiki linked in the description below. This has been your host, The Pixel Pirate. Thanks everyone for watching, and I will see you next time.